Dreamgirls is a virtual environment created in the cave by artist Margaret Dolinsky and software engineer Kritz Semish. Dreamgirls debuted at SIGGRAPH 96 and is installed at the Ars Electronica Center in Linz, Austria. The cave automatic virtual environment is a 10-foot square, high-resolution, 3D video and audio virtual display theater. All perspectives are calculated from the point of view of the user who wears active stereo glasses and controls navigation with a wand. Dream Girl's design focuses on the immersive nature of dreams in virtual environments. It is a journey through five different environments that present an opportunity for exploration and self-reflection. The main environment is a labyrinth filled with paths and three-dimensional objects that act as portals to other worlds. The characters in Delinsky's artwork, their colors and apparent lifestyles, motivated her to make them more dimensional, more real. Of her work, she says, well, I was painting and doing intaglio prints for a long while, and people would always say to me, why don't you make prints? Make more of these. People want to see them again and again. And I thought that that was more about the reality of the world that they lived in, and I thought it would be even more incredible if they were in virtual reality because they would be three-dimensional, real. I could walk around them and among them. I could be in the world where previously they could only be themselves. Interactions with dreams are often strange and unexpected, providing somewhat unfamiliar responses. In a virtual environment, objects have to initiate such interaction in order to loosen the user from an often passive position, encouraging participation rather than mere viewing. From the labyrinth, the user hears a child's persistent call to come out and play. Following the voice brings the user into a new environment and a new call to play a game of seesaw. But like our childhood, it must be left behind as we awaken back in the labyrinth. Art is an attempt to convey insight. Dream Girls attempts to generate a new awareness based on interaction and immersive experience in order to create an exciting and new level of communication beyond verbal knowledge. Dream imagery presents itself in a way that familiarity with the real becomes uncertain. Here, a flashlight provides illumination, a gateway to another level of consciousness that provides light for the faces, characters, and ultimately the many sides of ourselves. A strong motivation for such interaction are sensory and cognitive stimulation produced by the imagery of people. Over there. Not near me. Not here. That's silly. That's silly. The user approaches the unfamiliar territory like a desert island of loneliness. In this world, she comes face to face with what could be her psyche. And if she chooses to confront it, she finds herself unable to move rattled by the world around her, only to awaken back where she came from, the same, yet somehow different. Dream Girls allows the user to experience their world in a new and dynamic way, much like an active or lucid dream. The user cooperates with the computer in such a way that one is uncertain of the action-reaction hierarchy. Dream Girls becomes a medium for the user, creating a personal performance by learning interaction with the environment and recognizing its plasticity. Dream Girls is for dreamers who see the world as unreal. <laughs>